Hello and welcome to Just Be Handy. These uh, gearboxes out of the Gator that my daughters have uh, didn't hold up very well to 24 volts. Now I do have this one. I took it apart and I did add grease to it. It was missing a tooth but I ran it for a little bit more just till the um, replacement kit came and I'll go over that later. Uh, but I did take apart the good gearbox that was left to just show you what kind of um, grease and oil they put in there uh, and why there may be some issues when you start pushing the uh, voltage to 24 volt. As you can see, the gears, even though there's grease in here, it kind of um, gets up into the upper areas and doesn't really stay in the gears to lubricate and also there's no way to cool these gears when they get hot if you run them for a long time uh, this gearbox is still good this was on the driver's side this was on the passenger's side and the, these teeth uh, came off uh, during uh, running I did put more lube in there and well you, as you can see they need uh, a little bit of attention if we're going to put 24 volts in them. So um, this is the new kit. It is by Peg Pergo and it is for the RZR and the Gator and that's the number of it. I did get this on Amazon and I will have the link down below. You can see a little bit of a modification. They added this plate here. Um, these were made in, this one was made in July of 2023, and so was this one, uh, just different times. So this one was at 9.10 a.m., and this is at 1.22 p.m. Uh, this gear here looks to be gray, so we'll find out more. I'm going to open these up and take a look, and there may be some modifications that I want to make. Uh, I think I want to put a lubricant that will go up and down the gears and help cool them off and give better lubrication. Um, so I'll see what we're going to do there. But I'll take one of these apart and take a look inside and see if they made any modifications. <clears throat> Basically it's simple. It'll be these two uh, screws here, these screws here to remove the motor. And then there's tabs here that you can get with the screwdriver to pull it apart after you do that. All right, there's the brand new motor. And you can see they do put a lot of good grease in there. Uh, these are the vents for the gearbox uh, behind the motor. So the motor does pull air through it. And they, it looks like they have a little bit of a Loctite on there. Okay, now I'm going to remove the cover. And this is going to void warranty, but I need it to hold up to 24 volts. These do come with a little bit of a warranty. And they just need a little persuasion with a screwdriver. And we'll see how much grease they actually put in there when they're new. There we go. As you can see, the grease isn't even on the gears themselves. They did change to a different material, it looks like, that's heavier duty with the gray gear. Um, and then they did modify it to be able to take a little bit better stress. If we look at that, it is a little bit more stout, if you will. One of the things I was thinking of doing is uh, sealing it all the way around to put a lubricant up to this area here 
that will fling up and get into the gearbox. And uh, there are many options. You could go with an ATF fluid, a gear lube, or something that I have around, which is um, a chainsaw oil, which has a tackiness and stretches, and I'll show you how that is next. So a chain oil has a tackiness to it, and it's usually about a 30 weight. Then you have a severe gear uh, oil that you could use, like a 75W90. It doesn't have to be the SAMS oil, just any 75W90. 79 uh, or an ATF, you can get a synthetic like this one. And the major difference, I think, is going to be the tackiness of how this stuff works. Let me uh, show you that. So... If I pour a little bit in here, you can see it's thin, but look at how it stretches. If you can see that, it stretches quite a bit, and it can be very tacky on gears, just like it's made for chains and not flinging off of chains. This will go and become tacky and kind of work its way through the gears. Now the difference with like a 75W90 and this is a synthetic, so it's going to be almost like a little thinner. It doesn't have that kind of tackiness. Let's try. It has a little bit of tackiness because of its weight, but not um, the same type of tackiness, and it's heavier. And then for ATF... when you have ATF, that is basically just going to be a thin material. It's very, it's got very good qualities in being thin and moving throughout everything, but it's not a lubricant either. It's, um, it's just good for like a hydraulic fluid for pressure and so on. So it will help with, it will help with um, taking the heat away but it will not add lubrication. These two will. So um, I think I'm going to try a chain uh, bar oil first. And if it's not enough, I'll go to um, a gear oil. So the next challenge would be how do we seal this thing? We see the groove here is nice but then there's these tabs and then we're going to have leakage around here so one thing I was thinking of doing and I'll try this out is to use the moto seal gasket maker uh, this is fuel resistant and can ho hold up to oils as well um, I would put it on the perimeter of this here wherever this lip is and then when it goes inside of here it'll seal it up well then I can fill the fluid into here till it comes up to the bottom of this gear somewhere around this this height should be good it may splash some out through uh, this area here at the beginning but once it gets to the right level it should be good some of it might come out of the motor uh, through these vents over here. But um, I don't think a lot will come out. It should stay entrained. And once it gets over this gear, splashes in here, it'll get around and lubricate everything. But that's the main gear we're worried about. And that's why they changed the material to be a little bit stronger than my older gearbox there. And again, you could see they put grease, but it was a half-hearted effort. Um, it doesn't get into everything. It doesn't get on all the gears where it really counts. So going with a liquid, it'll be best. Now, this stuff takes 24 hours. Okay, as you can see, I went all around here, this lip with this um, gasket sealer. And then we just have to align it properly. 
and put it on and it's going to squirt out and it's not going to go in the gearbox which is going to be the best thing to why we put it on that lip. It's going to squeeze out and then we can clean it off. There we go. Now with a, a rag you could just clean it off and it should seal fairly well. I always have a nice oily rag to do this kind of stuff with. Now we have to let that sit for 24 hours before we can put any oil in, in here. Uh, so I'm going to uh, do the other one and then come back after 24 hours and we can put some fluid in there. All right, guys, it's been 24 hours. I decided to put some duct tape down here because it's hard to seal around um, the clip that was like this under here. Um, so just as an extra precaution, I put duct tape <clears throat> that's going to slow it way down. I did seal it the best I could. Now I took two ounces of this bar oil and put it in here because it uh, allowed me to measure off of these measures here so it was halfway up the bottle. Next, pour it down the center hole because that will make it to the gears. Uh, keep it kind of tilted and just put the oil in there. When you're about halfway through what you have in the bottle, stop and then rotate it. I don't know if you guys can hear that. Versus this one doesn't, I didn't put any oil in yet. It's going to probably end up being a lot quieter. The difference in sound. You could hear that oil is working its way through. So I'll just continue putting this in. If it's too much oil, I just am guessing that this whole bottom area is going to be around two ounces. If it's too much, it'll, it'll start coming out of here. So let's uh, let it sit for a little bit and see if it comes out. Um, if it is, then I would say just put in an ounce and then see if it comes out. But I took a guess at two ounces and we'll see if it leaks out. All right, guys, I did wait a, a few minutes and it looks like two ounces is too much. Go with one ounce and you won't waste any oil. So uh, one ounce should be sufficient, but I did turn it a few times and look at how the oil is just coating and it stays on there. So that will keep it lubricated and listen how quiet it got versus this one that doesn't have any oil. And that's the whine that you hear is the motor engaging with the gears and then this thing gets very loud when you're traveling. So it's gonna, the oil is going to quiet it down as well. So I hope you guys found this informative. I'm going to button everything up, put it in the vehicle. I'll make that a different uh, video. But um, I hope you found this informative. This should help cool down the gears and keep them lubricated and hopefully give you more life, especially if you go to 24 volt. Um, all right, guys, give us a thumbs up and let us know your thoughts.